Ron, um, when, are, when in your practice are heart biopsies warranted and um, are there undue risks? Yes, thanks. So, uh, yeah, building on what uh, Maz was saying. Uh, so first I want to emphasize that for AL amyloidosis, uh, it is a uh, diagnosis that can only be made by biopsy. Now, it doesn't have to be a cardiac biopsy, as Maz was saying, if you have proven AL amyloidosis, uh, usually proven by mass spec on your biopsy sample, uh, and you have clear indications that there's uh, cardiac involvement by imaging, there's certainly no need to biopsy the heart any more than there's the need to biopsy the kidneys uh, in somebody where you've proven cardiac amyloidosis uh, to prove that they have it there. Remember that once you've uh, made a diagnosis of systemic AL amyloidosis, there's almost always a treatment indication uh, with chemotherapy or uh, other therapies as we'll discuss later. Um, so in terms of changing what you're gonna do, yes, it's nice to know for sure if they have cardiac involvement, uh, but the real question up front is, do we need to get them started on therapy or not? And now that gets somewhat into the choice of where you're going to biopsy. While you can uh, definitely find uh, AL amyloid deposits in other places like a fat pad biopsy or sometimes in the bone marrow uh, for somebody who has underlying AL amyloidosis, uh, you can often miss it. Um, uh, you'll find it more with AL than transthyretin in other places, but you can still miss it there. And I, I would urge everybody who is viewing this to think of AL amyloidosis as a, a particularly cardiac AL amyloidosis as a near emergency to get people started on treatment. The disease can progress very quickly. And as we'll talk about later, there are very effective therapies that we have available, but, the, but uh, you have to get, get them started on people before they've had particularly too much cardiac damage. So my, my own practice, and our practice at Stanford is generally to biopsy the clinically involved organ, which is most commonly the heart, uh, to get a diagnosis quickly. And unlike uh, many other infiltrative diseases, you approach a sensitivity and specificity of 100% if you biopsy the clinically involved organ. It's very different than something like sarcoid, where you could biopsy uh, the heart and more commonly than not, you'll miss it. So that's where we generally go. It's reasonable to first go, say, for a fat pad biopsy, but only if you can do so very quickly and only if you're going to follow it up very quickly uh, with uh, the biopsy of the clinically involved organ. In terms of how... Uh, how risky it is. Uh, in uh, good hands, uh, the risks are really exceptionally low. Uh, these are very thick hearts, almost by definition, so the main risk of perforation uh, is really quite low. Um, and if these patients are being seen at a referral center, and I would say for AL amyloidosis, I would strongly urge uh, uh, getting patients to a referral center if at all possible. Uh, there are going to be good people uh, with the technical skills, and you're talking about a risk of complications that should really be uh, far less than 1%.